you could quickly discern that this was a lung that we are dealing with, which I think you will agree it is, then you can also quickly discern that it is a, a very significant uh, pneumonia as well because all of those alveoli are infiltrated with uh, some type of inflammatory cell. There's some pink stuff there. And um, notice that it involves the whole uh, portion of lung here diffusely without any particular uh, focal destruction of the lung. It's almost as though all of these alveoli just were suddenly loaded up with junk. And uh, let's take a look at the junk, or we could go home and just call this pneumonia. Inside the alveoli, you have, uh, once again, we can add to our diagnosis of pink uh, granular uh, or perhaps hyalinized junk. Uh, we know that it could be fibrin. We know it could be proteinaceous debris. We know it could be amyloid. We could know perhaps it could be immunoglobulins. We know it could be necrosis. But let's add one more thing to our list, because if you notice that in almost all of these alveoli, like here, and here, and here, and here, and here, that if you look very, very closely at these uh, pieces of fuzzy pink stuff inside the alveoli, if you had a good imagination, you would say, well, not only is this kind of fuzzy, but perhaps maybe there are little round uh, things inside here as well. And uh, indeed they are. They describe uh, this as the woolly, W-O-O-L-Y, uh, exudate of pneumocystis carinii. This is pneumocystis carinii pneumonia. Ironically, the radiologists also describe the lobes of lungs, which are infiltrated diffusely as woolly as well. So uh, however you want to imagine the wool, you can, either radiologically or pathologically. If you were to do a silver stain on any of these little areas of woolly intraalveolar exudates, like I'm going to do here for you instantly, you will see that uh, indeed, some of these areas inside uh, these woolly exudates, which look like they might have a little uh, texture to them, actually do stain intensely with a methanamine silver stain. These are the organisms. These are the uh, protozoans or perhaps un other unicellular taxonomic entities. They stain more like a fungus because they're taking up the silver stain. But the classical organisms of uh, pneumocystis pneumonia, which is pneumocystis carinii, look like little refractile. I've heard the word bent coins used a lot. In this particular area, they don't look too bent, but here's a little bent coin, and perhaps that's a little bent coin. But most of these coins don't look too bent. But if you, uh, this is a particularly very ideal, nice uh, stained areas. In some areas, they look a little bit more bent. Also notice that there may be some organisms here that are not taking up the stain too well either. Uh, but once the, in the old days, and perhaps even now, the methanamine silver stain for uh, pneumonias, which had a woolly uh, intraalveolar exudate, was diagnosed for pneumocystis. Before the AIDS epidemic, these uh, kinds of pneumonias were almost unheard of. Now they're the single most common type of pneumonia with AIDS patients. Now it's so prevalent that AIDS patients take uh, antibiotics for pneumocystis, even as a preventive measure, because they are all assumed to have some in their lungs, even if they're not uh, quite uh, clinically uh, infiltrated or pneumonic yet. Thank you very much.